Share my screen. Okay, so can you guys see my screen now? Hello? Yes, sir. Is my screen? Okay. So for your uh, midterm exam, I haven't actually checked this one yet since it's quite a lot of work. But uh, yeah, so good thing that you guys were able to finish the, you know, the midterm exam part one and then the part two. So supposedly, if you guys uh, won't be able to finish this one, this lab midterm requirement, uh, you know, at that, at that date, that uh, Friday, I was actually about to extend this one. But, uh, you know, good thing that you guys were able to uh, finish this one. Most of you, okay, maybe there, there are some, there were uh, maybe two or three, but uh, most of you were able to uh, finish this one. So I didn't extend the uh, time anymore or the duty. Anyway, so I, I don't know the results of your uh, exam yet, but it seems that uh, most of you got it correctly. So it seems, okay. So just, you know, by checking some of the work uh, of you guys, maybe one or three, four, it seems like we are correct. Okay, I just don't know uh, to the others. But anyway, so uh, let me just uh, show this one to you guys. Uh, this course was actually up to five modules only, module five. So it lasts at, uh, you know, this one. Actually, this is also a uh, module uh, four. It's just a continuation of the uh, module four. So all in all, this is already the last topic. This uh, Python uh, built-in data structure. And uh, for uh, today's meeting, or for this day, so I have already published the pre-made video of the uh, stack and then queue, and the next meeting, uh, maybe three and heap, and then for our last meeting, so link list and then graphs. As I guess you can see, it's like we know only have, uh, or we will only need in the uh, three meetings left. So we still have a month and a week, well, actually a month and two weeks from now before your uh, final exam, so August 5, correct? August 5, uh, August 6, why August 6? Well, I don't know, maybe that's given schedule for the uh, Friday, Saturday uh, exam, but yeah. So we still have a month and uh, two weeks before your final exam. And then we now only have two remaining modules that uh, you know uh, we haven't uh, finished yet. So we'll see. Maybe I will discuss the module 4.2 uh, next week. And you guys will do some of its activities, maybe trees and the that is trees only. And then maybe the module five. This is the one that has a lot of slides, I think. Ah. Oh. This is the module 4.2, the one that has a lot of slides. So this one is 14 slides. This one discusses the trees, trees only, trees and graphs only. And then the module five is the last two topic. Ah, so I, Okay. Let me just check. Uh, so what uh, Mam Suarez did maybe, I don't know, last, uh, last year. So I think she didn't discuss the heap and uh, link list anymore. So she went straight uh, to three and then a uh, graph to the uh, module 4.2. Okay, and then when straight to the uh, another topic which which is the uh, module structure so searching algorithm and then sorting algorithm okay, anyway this is just five slides so yeah i'm just saying to you guys that we know only have uh two remaining uh modules left before your uh, final exam but anyway so for today's meeting so i I uh, was already able to read the pre made video of your uh, module 4 and 4.1. This is just actually a 3 to 7, 3 to 6 minute video. A very short video, uh, 3 to 8. 
Okay, so it discussed the four uh module four point let's see four point zero and then uh, four point one. So just check that one later on. So for the topic learning outcomes, of course, you guys have already saw that one. The uh, stack and view will actually this is the this one for the uh, module overview. So it doesn't have the topic learning outcomes, I think. Why does that? Ah, it has the topic learning outcomes and then the topics that will be discussed for uh, this week, week uh, seven and eight. So again, for this uh, week seven and eight, uh, we will only discuss stock and then two. And then the remaining will be discussed next week. Okay. So for the topic learning outcomes, so to understand the function of user-defined data structure, to identify the different user-defined data structure in Python, and then to create a program implementing the different data user-defined data structure. Okay. And here is the module. So this is five slides, I guess. And then this is also another five slides. And for the video, so of course we only have uh, one premium video and yeah, combined already module four and 4.1. And then we have here a supplemental video for your uh, stocks and views. So just watch this once, it's a four minute, let's say almost five minute video. And then this is a 10 minute video for the uh, queue. Okay. So compared to mine, uh, it's 38 minute video. So here it's more compact more concise, uh, maybe more straightforward. So yeah, because I need a lot of, uh, for this one, uh, side comments or side explanation regarding the, the uh, stacks and views. So what else? And then you guys have these activities. So don't you guys worry. Uh, you have two weeks to finish you know, the uh, lab number seven and eight, but only one week for these stacks and views. But uh, I think, you know, stacks and views is quite easy compared to lab number seven and eight. So we can do this one in just maybe 30 minutes, okay? As soon as you were able to finish the premium video or the, you know, after reading the uh, module four and 4.1. So you can already do this one real quick. So in here, create a program that will separate the operators from the operand entered by the users. Use stacks and operator operators will be limited with class, you know, with those four uh, operators only. Class minus division and then multiplication. So we have here the sample input. So just use this one, you know, uh, as your input so you can have a consistent output as your screenshot or uh, just let the user Okay, just let the user uh, input these uh, values. Okay, or give the user uh, an option to input uh, input these values. Okay, and then uh, let it be using discuss methods, convert the following infix expression to equivalent postfix and prefix exp uh, expression. So uh, all in all, you're going to create, so you can create two separate files for this one, but you can actually combine this one and this one. So first one is this, uh, prefix and then convert this one into postfix and then the user I mean the, the program will ask another uh, input from the user which is uh, this one okay. so yeah this so is a conversion from a uh, prefix I mean from infix to postfix so you will learn that one under here under the stack so we already have a given uh, sample right here on how to uh, come up with this uh, prefix or in, uh, infix uh, into a postfix or a prefix into infix. Just uh, we do this one on your own uh, pie term or uh, item. Okay. Uh, what else? For the lab number seven, so just check this one out later on. Anyway, uh, this one is unlimited at times, so don't you guys worry. Okay, don't be afraid to uh, check and preview the uh, questions under lab number seven and eight. So, what else? Ah, before I will forget to uh, mention, I actually had a problem with the module four point five.
So I had the problem with the last example or the uh, last solution rather. Okay, so here is the solution for this uh, sample problem. Sample, uh, sample problem using Q. So uh, for some reason, it, it is giving me a, uh, an error with this line, this line right here, class BD that append in uh, input. So yeah, uh, try to solve this one or try to redo this one on your own pie charm if you can make this one break. So here is the uh, expected output. Okay. So in my case, I, I can only uh, input up to the three uh, value, the nine. So eight, four, nine, P1, P2, and P3. And then that is, it doesn't have any value anymore. So I don't know uh, what's wrong. So I'm not really sure if this is breaking or uh, it also has, or the code itself has an error. Okay. So just uh, let me know guys later on if uh, what is the solution for this one. Okay. So I actually tried both on idle and then Python, but I, it is giving me the same error. So probably it's the code itself. So I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today's meeting for the week uh, seven and eight. Any questions or clarifications so far? None, sir. None, sir. Okay. So, uh, last reminder. Uh, maybe we will meet July eight for your uh, limited face to face. So we will not meet uh July one. So we will not meet uh next week yet. So we'll just meet uh July eight. Okay. July eight and then July twenty. So those two remaining limited face to face meeting and then July five. I mean July six. I mean August six will be your uh, final exam, okay? So anyway, yeah, that would be all for now. So if you guys don't have any questions or clarifications anymore, then you guys may not go. So a blessed day to all of you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Goodbye, and thank you for coming.